Good morning, guys. SD fishing. Slab Daddy back here on Lake of the Pines. I hadn't been out here in a couple days. Looks like we're going to try to get out here and get some slabs in the boat. The last, last video I posted, uh, my audio had went off, so but I was fishing with uh, Blackland jigs, and we're going to do the same thing today. And uh, I really don't know where they're at. We're going to have to find them. Last time I was out here, they was in heavy timber, open water, right along the river channel. And I think we're going to start back at the same place. I've got a really good friend of mine in the boat today. He's already making sure Bernadette's safe. Super foggy out here. Super foggy. But uh, we'll just have to take it a little slower until we get to our spot. But uh, hopefully we'll put a hurting on them today. But, uh, I've been getting more and more. I guess I, I started liking hair jigs a lot more been catching a lot more fish uh, on the same jig I've always done good you know different jigs but uh, these hair jigs that my buddy's been making it's just it's kind of took my fishing to the next level and uh, usually those soft plastics that I've been using what end up happening I'll catch a few fish and you know and, and depending on you know what kind of jig it is it seems like I'm always putting another one on or having to adjust it with these hair jigs and I'm using their man they're rock solid and uh, I've just really really enjoyed using them so but we're gonna uh, we're gonna get on them today this is Bernadette she's already in the water we ready a, hey, I was just kidding about it. got a good friend of mine Pat Shores Blackland crappie jigs if if you want to step up your game, get a hold of him. We're going to put a link in the description and uh, order you some hair jigs. All the slabs that you see coming in the boat today is going to be black land jigs. All the jigs that I put, uh, or all the fish that I caught last video, all those were black land jigs. And you could see how fast we we're pulling them up out of the water. So um, he's got an assortment of colors. Uh, he made me a couple colors that was my favorite and he, he gave me a few extras to try just because I didn't, you know, it wasn't usually the colors that I like to use. But once I started using those colors, he said, give them a shot. Now they're my favorite colors. So, but uh, hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're out here. Found some on some, uh, in some open water. We caught a few of them, come out to structure. They're stacked out here on this structure. I'm gonna tell you what, we've probably got eight or 10 in the box and they're smacking the tar out of these black land jigs. And uh, I'm a believer in the white. And what do you call it, Pat? Bloody Shad. Bloody Shad. This is Pat Shores. Say what's up. What's up? Owner, operator, Blackland Jigs. And, uh, you know, the blue was my favorite color for a long time. But if they keep hitting this Bloody Shad like this, I might have to swap. But uh, enjoy some of this footage. I'm going uh, to get the live scope up and running and uh, let you see us catching some of these donkeys. So hope you enjoy it. He's gonna hit dead hit that. There he comes. Going after my weight. Yeah. I noticed it seemed like a lot of times them that do that are them little ones. That ain't no little one. He's decent, see? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. Bloody shad. Yeah. Every time. I'll throw that up back. Pat, tell them how to get in contact with you, man. Uh, uh, Black Land Crappie Jigs on Facebook. Uh, I'll do that, or you just PM me, or that's the easiest way to do it. I wish I could fish like Troy Savelle. Whatever. Uh -huh. Man, you outfish me seven days a week. Left. Anytime you're in a different boat, different equipment, it's hard to, hard to 
to get your parent. It is for me. It's hard for me to jump in somebody's boat, man, and do good. Get him in the boat, oh, brother. Shit. He's a good one. You need a net? Oh. This is gonna be good. You need a net? <laughs> oh, man, you have me going, man. That's a that's a three. Huh? It's a three. <laughs> If you hear me holler net, I'm gonna throw. Net! <laughs> See what he done. He nailed it, don't he? Yeah. What, color, what color you have on that one? Bloodshed. 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 Oh, get the net. <laughs> get the net. Man, yeah. Man, you a fan of that Dobbins? <clears throat> I like it. I do. I really do. At first time, thank you. I love it. That's all I have to do for you. The Dobbins? Yeah. 14 foot. Dobbins, they make a 16. A little spot lock on it and see if we can pull a few of them off there. Man, put that bloodshot to work, man. He dropping in on it right now. Here he comes. There he is. Oh boy. Pick that off top first. Ooh, come on. Blush yeah. I love crappie fishing. Those that know me know I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say the ones that know me know I like Nossa. Ain't nothing like crappie fishing when Mr. Slab Daddy is on. No. Uh, it's almost like cheating. Yeah. I made a believe right of oh, you on the bloody shed. Man, he was barely hooked too. Good lord. I know it's hard to see it on video, but those aren't little fish we're catching. Oh Lord have mercy. What is this? Big two. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. You just keep playing with them toys. Oh. <laughs> These were dreams come true. I don't know what it is about winter time and them white jig. They like it, don't they? Yeah, on there, you got you one. And you, uh -huh. and you can too. <laughs> oh. oh, he got dirt in his mouth. Man. I think we don't fish the bigger ones out. Looks like, looks like it might be a nice one. Seems like there was a good one on that side, Pat. It's gonna turn into the wind. That's nice. Ooh, I'm sorry. Are you good? <laughs> no yeah, matter man. what you do, I I figured that much out. It's gonna turn into the wind. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Doing any good? Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah, they're they're biting good.
It don't get no better than this, y'all. Look at this. It don't get no better than this. What do you want me to do with this one, Troy? Throw him back? No. Bring here. Huh? Hey, you, you fishing, you fishing them same hooks you sell me, right? Yeah. You know what I do with some of them? What? Bend them out a little bit. I just, it's I, like they're short hitting, and I'm catching them on. The yep, yeah, I'll take, I'll take a pair of pliers a lot of times. Bend great hooks, but I think sometimes they're that sickles too far in. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> No, we got uh, 34. 34? Really? I thought we had more than that. I didn't feel near as bad then. I got a good thing. Oh, you're right there, brother. Yeah, pretty good. Open up on me. Boy, that wind done laid down. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I gotta do something. Huh? I'm telling you, I have a lot of water. I think it's a good fish. I got you this thing. I'd be embarrassed if we don't catch fish. I'm whispering. Uh, I might have a bird plier on that. Here you go. I got you. Huh? Why did you say ugly word? Yeah, I, uh, I clicked it. Are you fishing? I'm dropping down on that single fish. Oh, okay. And you got it. Yes, sir. Yes. Ooh -wee. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. There's a fish right there. I don't know if I got any size. All right, guys, wrapping up an awesome day of fishing. Weather's been beautiful. The bite's been kind of finicky, but let me show you, it didn't stop us from putting slabs in the boat. All this that happened today is from black land crappie jigs. Non-stop action. 
basically what we noticed, we noticed that they would come up and bite or, you know, short strike and then go back down. So every one we had to work for. And uh, I didn't see anybody that was pulling them up like us. Um, however, it has been just an awesome day of fishing. But I'm definitely a believer in black land crappie jigs. We both caught our limit. Now they're still coming. These aren't, I mean, you can see I, I wear a 13 shoe. Yeah. Donkey, Donkeys. Donkeys. So I don't know if I showed you guys before uh, exactly which ones we were using, but I would like to show you. This one's called the Bloody Shad. And basically it's got a white head. It's got a little red on the on the back. Um, what, what kind of hooks do you call these? Sickle. Sickle hooks. Um, so I learned a little something today with these sickle hooks. Um, basically Pat was telling me with these sickle hooks, if you'll bend them out just a tad, your hookup ratio will, will exponentially increase. And once I did that, I noticed uh, a lot of the short strikes, you know, they were barely hooked, but they, they were hooked. So, um, I think we were fishing about 40 foot of water today, anywhere from 25 to 40 foot. Uh, a lot of the fish that were just really aggressive that we noticed, they were right on, wouldn't you say they were on the bottom, right in the mud? In fact, you couldn't even see them in the live scope. They would just come right up. And I'm telling you, I mean, they're just, they just keep coming. We got 25 a piece of just donkeys. Let me show you the other jig that we used. Now, Pat, tell me uh, what this one is called. I, I ain't got a name for that one. All right. Somebody wants to name it. They can hey, it we don't have a name for this one yet. Pat says, throw some, uh, throw some comments in and uh, he'll help, uh, he'll let you guys help name it. But uh, whatever it's called, it's got a little green head, a little green, white. It's got a little flake in it. And that really did the trick today. Uh, I basically stood, uh, on the bloody shad i caught most of our fish uh, on that one i did swap out to just a plain white one uh, with a smaller body and it, it did just as good so basically we wanted to catch most of our fish on the on the bloody shad and i want to show you what a pile again so but uh y'all uh like and comment subscribe and uh I'm trying to get him to get a YouTube channel going, uh, show you guys how to do crappie jigs and all that good stuff. But uh, in the meantime, get a hold of him, call him. You got his contact. Look in the description. Uh, we'll put all of his info in it. Get with him. It'll be some of the best crappie jigs. Uh, I hung up one time today and I broke off. Other than that, I mean, I, I still got the same. Uh, I still got the same jig on it. So they last a really long time. Uh, how many How many limits have you caught on one? One G. The 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 material that those are made out of will last till you lose them. It's the cactus Chanel. It's tough, and I promise you, it will last until you lose them. That's it. You heard it. Give them a call. Uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. See ya.